In this video, we are going to add the best lab time. So, for best lab time, we will just go to save script and uh, here we will just add some variables. Uh, the first variable will be static flow best lab time minutes, and I used m for minutes and seconds. And then we have added last lab minute and last lab seconds. So these are very important. So after adding these variables, uh, we uh, we will just move uh, towards the UI script. And uh, here in UI script, we will add some variables. So best lap minutes, best lap uh, time seconds, text fields, and uh, these two variables are necessary. And that's it. Now we will just go to update function. And here we I just uh, um initialize the best lab time so for best lab time we will say if save script dot last lab minutes equal to best lab minutes then uh, we will get the uh, uh, if save script uh, and in this if statement we have sub if statement which is if save script uh, last lab seconds are uh, greater uh, are lesser than best lap time seconds then we will get best lap uh, time seconds equal to last lap time seconds okay so if for example we achieve a lap okay and uh, after achieving uh, after finishing a lap we will start uh, we will get best time and uh, best lap time uh, after finishing the lap and then if we again finish the lap and uh, if the new lap has uh, uh, lesser time than the older lap then we will get a new best lap time okay and we ask for the if statement for minutes and for that we will just say best lap time minutes are equal to last time lap time minutes and if uh, if they are equal to okay or lesser than okay here you can place the lesser than sign as well if you want to do so and if uh, uh, sorry if equal to okay and uh, then if it is lesser than then we will get the last lap time minutes and last lap time seconds if these are equal to or greater than then we will get new lap times okay now we will just copy this rest time all the code for displaying the lap time uh, best minutes okay so the same code we can copy and here i just have pasted this code okay everything is same just we will change the variables to best lap time minutes and minutes text okay everything is same so that's the code and one more thing is in a lap uh, laps script we have to add this line of code uh, which is very important and before that we will just initialize the here on the top we will initialize last lap minutes last lap seconds from the save script okay so here we will add these two lines on top of these two lab number and lab change so it's important and then we have added a if statement and we will say that if lab number equal to two then we will get the best lab time minute and last lab time minutes and uh, also we will get the best lab time seconds equal to last lab time seconds uh, so uh, this is the code which we will apply on the best time so we will just go to unity and uh, we will just go to canvas again and hopefully we will have two more fields here best lap time minutes and best lap time seconds so here you can see we have best uh, minutes and we have best seconds and now if we play then you will see that we will have some uh, result hopefully so let's play the game and uh, you can see that we have 
nothing best lab because we didn't have completed the lab okay so if we complete a lab so my car just stuck okay no problem so here let's complete the lab now and you will see the best lab time will be appear will appeared here okay so let's see so yes you can see best lab is uh, time is 26 so now if we reach the lab again in lesser seconds we it should record new lab time so let's go to lap again and you can see that it's recorded best lap time 15 seconds that's great our best lap functionality is working absolutely nice in next video we'll move further